Hello, everybody, and welcome to Apostolic Children's Ministry Podcast. What you're about to hear is a very different style of podcast since it's actually already been recorded. I'm recording this intro later on, and it's going to be in three parts. This is part one. Then it's going to flip over to Jason Ashley's podcast, which is called Growing Up with Papa. And then it's going to be going to part three, which is Brother Tyler Hodge, and his podcast is called Kid Men U. All right, hope you enjoy. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Apostolic Children's Ministry Podcast. And we're excited because there is a mess of people here and people that we don't normally have on the podcast because we are at Kingdom Kids Conference in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Let's just go around real quick and uh, introduce everybody. My name is Philip, and we have... Jason Ashley, Gina, Louisiana. The one and only with your podcast. What's your podcast? Growing Up with Papa. In fact, this is going to be a very different podcast because we're going to be splitting this up into chunks and splitting it between a couple podcasts between Apostolic Children's Ministry, uh, Growing Up with Papa. Papa. Uh, and I'm not sure. We're still working uh, on Brother Baker. We're not I'm sure if he's going to have <laughs> have his on here. But then we have... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Brother Baker. Yeah, Brother Gabe Baker from Shehalis, Washington. And? Tyler Hodge. Kidsman University, Bakersfield, California. Kidman University is his podcast. He's going to have a part of this. And then we have... Donnie Breeden from Princeton, Indiana. And Tammy Breeden from Princeton, Indiana. And they are incredible people. Got to meet them last year. And, man, the more we get to know them, the more we like them. They're just good people Amen. all around. Everybody here is just quality, top-notch people. <laughs> so uh, we're at Kingdom Kids, so I guess we should kind of focus on that a little a bit. Little bit yeah. but that's not where we're going to stay. Uh, But I want to make it clear that we are going to be shuffling these parts between these different podcasts. So at the end of part one, you'll just hear a break and it'll say flip over to, you know, uh, your brother, brother Ashley's and you'll, you'll pick it up from there or Tyler. We'll figure that part out uh, with the intros and extras. What are those? What's the outro? Outro. Outros. Outros. Yeah. Yeah, They'll they'll all be very clear. I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, And we're just hoping Tyler actually publishes his part. Oh yeah. It might. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. (laughs) Well, the baker knows all these stage names that uh, he taught me one the other night. Stage left or stage right. Or what was it? uh, House. House left or house right. So it's according which way you're facing. Who knows? (laughs) Not me. (laughs) No. Brother Baker, this is your first year at Kingdom Kids, right? This is. It's awesome. And you have been so incredible. The other night, this is when I realized just, I've always known that you're phenomenal. But just like the quality of guy you are is there was something happening. He didn't complain about it. It was just fixed. And I was like, what just happened? And he had got a mic and rent. He was fixing stuff, no asking, not saying, hey, do you think I should? No, he knew it had to be done, and he fixed it. We just have a lot of problems in our Sunday school, so I'm used to it. (laughs) Don't we all? I think that's the definition of children's ministry is is problems that we're working towards solutions for. Every church needs a firefighter department, you know, just running around putting out fires. Exactly right. (laughs) But that was was awesome. So we're here at uh, Children's uh, Kingdom Kids Conference, Pigeon Forest. Tennessee, uh, one of the larger apostolic uh, youth or kids conferences that I know of. I'm sure there's there's others, but I, I'm not super aware of, of them. It's pretty big, by far the best. Well, and there's there was yeah. 250 <laughs> there last night, 270 counting adults, yeah. something like that. I, I it was in the chat. Was it 270, 269, something About like that? 260 is what I remember. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so a lot, of, a lot of kids. Last year, the last night we had three hundred and twenty plus. So this amazing. is a, it's going to be a big night. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're excited. Uh, so why don't you? This is your first time here, Brother Baker. Why don't oh, you kind of just give us your your feel? <laughs> we're, we're so in the woods. All we see is the trees. It's hard to back up and see the big picture. So this is awesome. So we do. We just Brother Brooke and I were together um, a few weeks ago at our church. We do a very small scale of kind of the same idea. But this is awesome. Um, I'm meeting all kinds of new people. Uh, your brother, uh, your pastor, Brother Joel Booker, was thanking me for my help. I was like, man, I'm just having a blast here. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, the team of people, the quality. I mean, it's, of course, I worked with Brother Hodge before a little bit at the uh, conference in California. Am I loud enough? I know I'm really quiet. Should I lean forward? That's actually okay. better. That's actually better. <laughs> I'm a really quiet talker. Sorry, but yeah, the team here is incredible, and I don't. I keep on forgetting people's names, but I want to try to get names and numbers before we leave because these guys are awesome. I mean, just the acting, the behind the scenes stuff. Um, it's really cool to see people that um, 
you, you're not coercing them. You know, sometimes we have to do that. Not always. I mean, we have a great staff at home, but you're not coercing anybody. They all want to be here, and it's yeah. They're it's paying awesome. their way to be here. Yeah. They're volunteering their time, and they're bringing their their own costumes. Many of them, or they're bringing their own props. They're it's it's it's. We're all here because this is what we are passionate about. <clears throat> we really love it. And like Brother Brother Hodge, I think you were actually s- sick yesterday. Yeah. Well, I I'm better, but I still have a scratchy voice. But last uh, night you wouldn't have known it. No, I'm no. telling you, there was not a yeah. person there that didn't know first. You know, if you hadn't told anybody, we wouldn't have had a clue. In fact, Brother Booker forgot. I did forget. <laughs> so, yeah. I was watching Brother Tyler up on stage at the practice. You were doing those songs, just sweat pouring out. I was like, that poor guy. He's, he's a trooper. Brother was like, let's do this song again. I'm like, I'm so good. Let's do it. Swallowing back the bile. Was, oh. I apologize. I apologize. No, it was a great time. <laughs> yeah. And Brother Hodge, you've been here for how long now? Since the beginning, 2016, right? This is your seventh year, I believe. Wow. Yeah. Seventh, yeah. So this is from the beginning. Yeah. And I've grown a lot uh, since then. I remember I was the new kid on the block, and uh, all these. We were all new kids. It was the first year. I, I know, but as <laughs> we far didn't as know like, what we were doing. As far as ministry is concerned, I was the youngest one sitting in the, in the room. When we were first discussing it, and oh. there was all these wise people around, and me and Tyler are like giants, like idiots. Nathaniel Urshan. And, and, <laughs> no, really, yeah. I'm not okay. We're, we're, we exaggerate a lot. We're not exaggerating right now. Yeah. Like we were the idiots of the room. Yeah, and we kept thinking, like we'd say something, and you could hear the crickets, and we're like, oh, you know, like Sunday was, school humor. You oh, know, yeah. what you guys would have laughed about. Yeah, right. yeah. And they just look at us like, what is wrong with these people? <laughs> this is why you guys have us in this committee. Okay. <laughs> I remember Tyler, we were on a, we were on a conference a call. Zoom call. And yeah. he, he sent a text. He goes, boy, that was a dumb thing to say, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it did not fly, you know whatever what? it was. I've, I've grown accustomed to, actually, I've developed an appetite for shoe leather. Because I've just put my foot in my mouth so many times. <laughs> I crave it sometimes. <laughs> it really, it really was fun. Though. There, were, there was, a, it was all like uh, pretty established ministers, and then us. <laughs> like, Why are we here? But uh, it, it's, it's. But we stuck through it all these yeah. years, and um, I know as the kids are aging out of the Kingdom Kids area, we we're getting kids coming back as teenagers that just don't want to leave Kingdom right. Kids Conference because they just love it so much and they love incredible. being a part of it. Now. Know, on a um, on an assistant, you know. Uh, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Is cool. Is one of the guys who helped run sound last night. He said last year was his last year as a kid. He, he said <laughs> he's still a kid, but yeah, yeah, as right. a kid in Kingdom Kids, and he was helping run sound. So yeah, they don't want to leave. And uh, what's been nice about that though is that we've been able to recycle <laughs> some of the some of the scripts because you know. We get new batches of kids. It's nice that yeah. you grow up and you can kind of recycle through things and just make it better. And uh, it's grown to a level that, I mean, I think this is probably the biggest cast we've ever had. Which, well, yeah, because we say? doubled it effectively by like creating the, the dark eagles, castle yeah. and the light castle. We right, had to right. double our people. Yeah. And it, it was easily filled. We didn't have to scramble and beg people to come. Yeah, We had enough bodies here. In fact, we had a couple... That I feel like we didn't we underutilized just because right. they were so talented, but we just yeah. there's not enough places to put everybody. We're gonna have to start like putting trees in the script, you know, like yeah. <laughs> tree one, tree You two, are a really like, good tree, brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the way you wave those branches, my <laughs> absolutely. Well, and I have uh, at least one, I think, couple people that want to come from my staff next year, and they're welcome. So. We'd love to have them. Love to have them. And last year we had. Besides our family, which is <laughs> quite large, <laughs> uh, we had another probably 20 people from our church here last year, and none of them were able to come this year. Wow. Oh, wow. So they were all helping. They were all our Sunday school people, so they helped with all the registration and everything. But it's amazing how none of them came, and there were still people to fill in those those spots. That's awesome. Yeah, it was really nice. And Brother Ashley, last year was your first year. He was, yeah. And, and Boots is as well, I believe. Right, Boots, yeah. <laughs> and he begged to come back, so here we are. Here we are. Well, yeah. And um, insert horse I actually here. took Brother Hodge's place, yeah. <laughs> insert, insert horse down. Brother Hodge uh, was, you skipped last year, right? Had well, I, was, I was here. He was Billy. But I was oh, not right. from Sir right. Holden, yeah. the Purple Night. Yeah, I, I took his, uh, his Purple Night place last year. Yeah. But that experience caused me to say I'll never miss another one as long as I have any opportunity to come, and, and I want to be here. That's and awesome. uh, it was yeah. phenomenal. I mean, I just felt like I was part of uh, 
something really, really big. Well, I knew I was, but I mean, like it's almost sight and sound theater uh, caliper here. It's very, it's, it's just awesome to be a part of it. And Brother Breeden's last first year was uh, last year, right? And hers. Yeah, we kind of met <laughs> oh, yeah. and met some more people last year that we stayed connected with, and this is a an awesome opportunity to uh, just gather up and and get to know each other and, and share this gospel to our children in a unique way. It really is. But uh, That's a great way to put it. It's very unique. It's very different even from many Sunday school styles. Even if the churches don't teach like this at home necessarily, it's a great way to, to learn new methods and learn new people. <clears throat> in fact, I, I met you guys, I think it was at Midwest... Junior camp Junior last camp, yes. two years ago, last year. What, two years, so yeah. two camps ago, whatever that was, and they were just incredible. You guys did the day services, I believe, and yes. I remember. I don't know how it came up, but I was like, "Hey, <clears throat> we have this thing that you guys would be awesome. At. <laughs> Please come!" Yeah. And man, they have absolutely done a fabulous job. In fact, the the Breedens, uh, I, I asked them if they had maybe talk about their background and or how they got into children's ministry, because I don't know the story. I don't know how you guys got involved initially, but as a couple, you guys are just a powerhouse. So how did it happen? IQ definitely plays a big part in that. <laughs> so we like to joke and play and have a good time as well. But we've always, since we've been married for, we've been married for 13 years, we've always been in Sunday school and do things with the children. But COVID did us real good. Uh, COVID, I went and bought a $500 puppet stand. And she got mad at me. <laughs> she said, you better use it. <laughs> so use it, we did. We started making videos of puppets and started playing because with Because we had a period of time where church, we couldn't go to church in yeah. our area. Right. You know? yeah. And so we started doing videos online and created a Sunday school account. So we broke out the puppets and we learned and a lot. people started reaching yeah. out and wanting our videos and stuff. So I was like, okay, this might be something yeah. to do. Other churches that weren't even apostolic were <clears throat> watching our stuff and wanting Comment some. And yeah, yeah. Wanting, wanting us to write scripts for them. It's like, no, not happening. Yeah. <laughs> we don't write scripts. I mean, we do, but you can't read them because we can't read them half the time. <laughs> well, my writing, her writing is yeah. good. But then it just grew from there, and then our region grew, had a committee, started a committee with the junior camp, and it just keeps growing. So That's God's awesome. been opening doors for us. That's awesome. Praise God. <clears throat> you guys That's have been cool. uh, such, a, such a blessing in so many ways. In fact, Brother Ashley did some of the most incredible COVID kids videos I have ever seen. They, those were seriously elaborate, Brother Ashley. Wow. Oh, well, was that with the bandit? Rubber bandit. Yeah, rubber, rubber bandit. Band- yeah. But, but, man, his how, wife. How many parts were there? And they were long. Yeah. Like I, it, took, it took me a while to get through them. They yeah. were awesome. Those were really good. I was trying to create something to keep the kids' interest while we wasn't able to go to Sunday school, just like right. y'all. And uh, uh, it kind of launched the rubber bandit, I believe. You know, he was a mascot or, or my character. Amen. And, uh, He's the rudest, tootinest cowboy in North, South, East, or West of Walmart. <laughs> so he got uh, to, to chasing after Mac Corona, and he kind of mm-hmm. called him Mac Caroni. But anyway, he, that was kind of a series that we started, and it uh, kind of developed. I didn't really end it because Mac Caroni's still on the loose. Oh Lord, uh, have mercy! But, uh, I always that sounds like to... Kingdom Kids. If we didn't, just... we're the bad guy kept coming back every year. We're not sure how that happened. <laughs> but Until we, the year we ate him, so. we step. Uh, we kept. <laughs> well, yeah. Sorry, do I need to qualify that? Yes, you we might, do. We <laughs> turned him into a, we turned him into a chicken, uh, and the next scene, the knights walked out eating a bucket uh, of KFC. Uh, so <laughs> that, that really did happen. It was one of those. It was not scripted. It was one of those last minute. Hey, it would be funny if. <laughs> That's just do great. it, just do it, come That's on, we great. gotta do it. And they did. The knights all came in eating fried chicken and everybody was horrified. Like the kids were like, Oh, you ate Demas! Yuck! That's legendary. That's it, was, great. it was pretty wild. Hey, maybe we can have fried dragon tonight. No, we killed him. Oh, yeah. We almost had fried brother Ashley last night. <laughs> yeah, and when you came out of that dungeon, oh, that was so you cool. looked cooked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so last night we had a, a dragon fight. Yeah, we don't have time to get into how the dragon ended up there, but the knights had to go and clean him out of the dungeon, and Brother Ashley came back. He looked a little worse for wear. You, the other guys looked rough. Brother Breeden, you looked pretty rough, too, but, man, he looked like he was on the front line. Yeah. <laughs> My hair was already sweaty, so I just 
poked it straight up in there and put that black stuff on and uh, just done my best to just stumble out on stage. It was great. It was pretty good. Next time, if you guys are really going to, you know, give yourselves wholly and completely to this ministry, we're going to have to send your eyebrows off. Mm. Yeah. 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 I think that's Plain important. sacrifice. Yeah. I think that's very yeah. important. I mean, I was willing to be stoned last night. Oh, that's so true. Yeah. They are asking if they would stone me. I said, sure, let's do it. I don't think we have asked anybody to do anything, even being silly, that they're like, yeah, it's a bad idea. Everybody's like, sign me up. Yeah. Yeah. Which, which probably isn't a bad idea to find somebody that has, you know, their head screwed on a little tighter than we do, you know, <laughs> be that you know counterbalance. <laughs> well, that's why Brother Baker's here. He's a good okay, combination. Yeah, yeah. He's our counterbalance. Uh, are you yeah. sure you want to do that? Yeah, that's <laughs> funny, exactly. Although I have been at his church, and I've, I've seen him uh, take things to an extreme. I was pretty impressed by. It. <clears throat> He's the one that had the slide that shot somebody out so far that oh, they yeah. almost broke their leg. Oh, oh, my <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fast. <laughs> he made it. He made the slide. Yeah, that's uh, amazing. It's wow. funny because I was watching these kids kids at your at your church and they all wear different clothes obviously so it's different uh materials some is denim some is silk well the silk is like a rocket yeah mm-hmm. those kids come out there 300 miles an hour i mean they, they will <laughs> literally fast. launch so far they could hurt wow. themselves so they sort of pile what did you pile there for the kids to land on i don't remember what it was i yeah some kind of blankets or something <laughs> they were flying, and then you'd have the next kid like barely scooting down you like like wearing rubber or something yeah. like, squeak yeah. squeak squeak barely, <laughs> barely moving down. so we had we do um like for part of our interactive, because it's a cave, you know, we're doing a pirate theme, and it's a cave and it's a playground. So we'll do a, a circuitous route. And so now we have somebody at the bottom of the slide catching them. Because <laughs> since then, we've realized, yeah, we better for safety. <laughs> wow. Absolutely. Big dip net. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, how do we how do we find your podcast, Brother Ashley? Uh, now you have to spell Papaw correctly, and the reason I didn't spell it Paw Paw P A W P A W like a lot of people pronounce is because all my grandkids, all eleven of them, call me Papaw, so I just spelled it P A P A W. So, uh, growing up with Papaw is on Spotify, uh, Apple, all the I think just about anywhere, and uh, I've been pretty religious about weekly episodes now, I missed the last couple but hopefully this is an insert into uh, this week so we'll create a, another one but there it is growing up with Papa and it's kind of centered around most of the time we take uh, events in our own lives I'm very involved with our grandkids they all live close and we're all outdoorsy and uh, always got something hunting fishing outdoors type going on so we we try to create a life lesson and a, and a biblical um, application to everything that we that we do, and uh, we do a lot of things. So it's kind of adventurous and and also teaches lessons as well. So, and I don't really know if that's the way it's going to stay. I'm, I got so many uh, things that I do, so many ideas and, and and things that I like that it may take a turn and and find a different route but right now we try to involve people who want to be involved in, in children's lives to make a difference or create that that desire to or importance to see the importance to being involved in children's lives to uh, help them point them in the right direction and uh, whether that's through children's ministry or taking them hunting or fishing or outdoors or uh, just being friends with them and and just being there a lot of times that makes just a huge difference but, uh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, uh, when we were growing up, my dad always made it very clear that we didn't have to be what he was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just be in church, do what God wants you to do, follow his will, whatever that is. If you're a preacher, cool. If not, that's okay. Right. In fact, he said, if you can be saved without bringing a preacher, <laughs> you, then don't be a preacher. You'd be yeah. crazy to. <laughs> um, so with that said, I've tried to do the same thing with my kids. I love Sunday school. I'm passionate. I mean, this is my thing. I mean, I just, I love children's ministry. Yeah. But I've tried to tell my kids, I love that you're involved, but please don't do it just because I am. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Feel, hey, if you have another direction that, that God leads you. Um, and so That's good. we're at uh, Kingdom Kids Conference, and I'm looking around. It's me, my brother, my, his, his wife. Uh, his two girls, uh, Landry's a section leader, um, three, all three of my kids, my youngest one to two, he probably wouldn't be a whole lot of help. Uh, those, they're all three involved. My daughter-in-law was helping with the props. 
Um, and it's cool. I, I, I think it's the best thing on the planet. Um, having having family involved, like you said, brother, you know, just just family is just right. incredible. But if they decide to do something else, I respect that. I think it's yes. great. <clears throat> you know, dude, just just please, we'll miss just them. Do though. something for the work. Oh, your, your kids are awesome. Yeah. They are awesome. Shout out to Logan and Tristan. There. Well, I'm looking around this room, and it, it, this is a, a theme among us. Uh, brother Baker, your daughter yeah. and son are both very active in Sunday school yes, when I was there. Yeah. Uh, brother Hodge, his his yeah, my kids are very active in Sunday school. Their teachers are talking to me after class. <laughs> that was more referring to you and your wife. They might be a little young at this point. And then brother brother and sister Breeden, you have uh, is it five five children, yes. wow. and they are incredible. I, I'm not just saying that because you're here. I was looking around. They're they're everywhere doing <laughs> stuff. Active, uh, like they're they're watching doors. They're helping helping uh, be bathroom monitors. And then in the altar, this is uh, this, this really caught my attention. And this is terrible that I don't remember his name. But one of your one of your kids was praying for somebody else. Just tears pouring down his cheeks while he was praying for some somebody else. It was oh, just so awesome. so Thank sweet. You. you can't fake that. You, know, you can you can fake some stuff. But, this is That's the real. highlight of their year. Like they yeah. could not yeah. wait and then get to help. Oh my goodness. You made their day. Just get That's letting amazing. them help, you know, just doing That's a cool. small part, you know, they're kind of, they're kind of a little shy. They're a little bit like me, except for, we've got a couple boys that are more outgoing, but they, they just love, they just love being a part. So. And so that's the end of this episode, but it's not the end of the podcast. To continue, just go over to Jason Ashley's podcast, look for Growing Up with Papa, and you'll see part two, and then over to part three on Tyler Hodge's podcast, Kidman University. Thank you so much for joining me.